So what's up everybody welcome back to Trauma Center's second opinion in the last episode we got a new nurse on Hope Hospital a new assistant nurse Angie she's a douche just putting that out there she's a douche so <laughs> let's continue on with the next like patients or or what now I don't know I feel my headset is is so fucking disturbingly broken. Thank you so much, doctor. Take care now. And there's someone left. Hmm. Well, that looked like the like our last walk-in for today. Angie, let's uh, start our pre-operation at around one o'clock. Okay. Don't you think we should have examined him more carefully? What? Do you question me? What? I am the doctor here. I know what I'm doing. If I say it's okay, it's all fucking okay. Ah, uh, whatever. There were signs of Kayano, which could have indicated asthma. If that's the case, you need to see a physician right away. Really? I don't think. I didn't think it looked like anything serious. You need to start acting like a real doctor, Mr. Styles. You're overreacting. I'm sure he'll be fine. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, what? Okay, just throw in an operation. Not even gonna talk about it. Since Dr. Cashin is at a conference, I'll be briefing you today. I think you've been briefing me even if I wasn't. Even if I was here. I mean, Jesus Christ. You've been doing that all the time. We are expecting a stage 1 tumor from the patient's small intestine. So, if we take it out, we should fully re he should fully recover. However, his blood test results were unusual. We can ask Dr. Castle about that one once he gets back. As long as we accept the tumor, the patient should be fine. That's technically correct, but I'm pretty confident about this. I've ex extracted the tumor several times already. This will be a snap. Okay, keep the two operation objectives in mind. Treat the inflammation in his small intestine. <laughs> wow, so many words I cannot pronounce for the life. For the, for the life, man. I mean, how the fuck? Exist to and remove all terms in the area. If you're ready, let's begin. Ah, uh, fuck it. Let's begin the operation. Okay. Hmm. -hmm. So we're gonna remove tumors again. Let's begin. Let's. Uh, let's do this. Oh, what can we? Okay, it can go any higher than eighty. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of. Th okay, that was not straight anyway. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm getting the hang of this game. Holy crap, okay, this is his intestines, um, oh god, Embers inflamed. What's going on? The only small intestines should be affected. Doctor, I think we need to close the patient for re-examination. Let's continue operating, Angie. Those symptoms aren't uncommon. uncommon. I understand. In that case, proceed with the tumor excision. I know you've done this before, so I'll try to stay out of your way. Okay. Okay, um, I think I remember what we did last time. I'm gonna take the big ones first because it seems... Mm, <laughs> I cannot speak for the life of me. Uh, treatment going well. Yes. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, it seems like they take the longest time, so I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Just felt natural. You cannot do this in real life. You can. You cannot have... You cannot do this so fucking quickly. <laughs> you know, that's just whatever. Even though the visual implant errors is complete, but oh. But oh. <laughs> I thought I uh, You press A to, like when they talk, but sometimes they just. You, they don't want you to. Go on. Okay, there's the tumors. Holy crap, there's a lot of them. Okay, um. Okay, let's just get them open and then go on with it. and the latest techniques. Yeah, I've been doing that already. Okay, I need to pay attention to one thing, though. His Why vitals are dropping. Stop. Holy shit, they're dropping! Okay. Pre Reanimate. Rookie mistake. Fuck you! Don't be a douche! Oh. Angie. Shut up. No one was talking to you. Holy crap, Angie, you're... You're a douchebag. 
Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Come on. Ah, oh, the gel is healing him a little bit. So, um... His vials are stabilized, there must be something else. The last vials doesn't usually establish right away after operation. But we need to last check this blood test results. Okay, what do you su what would you suggest, eh? Place an ultrasound again. Just to be safe. Well, um... Doctor. There doesn't seem to be anything else. I'm not getting anything. I don't see anything. But I was certainly sorry about the second guessing you, Doctor. No worry, we're both still learning from experience, right? I guess. There. Alright, we did it. That wasn't too bad. Wow, that was bad though. <laughs> I can't do it from that angle. It just doesn't work for me. Good work, Doctor. We're finished, Doctor Styles. Alright, we did it. Well, that could have gone a lot better, but we did it at least. Ugh, I did a few mistakes, but eh, eh, it's fine. Alright. Specialist? Fuck yeah! Dr. Styles? Oh hey, Angie, thanks for your help in there. I'd like to have a word with you about the last operation. Oh, huh? was there something wrong with my beside manners? No, it's about the patient, actually. His white blood says, um, uh, Globulin counts is rising, rising rapidly. That's not good. I also know the inflammation along the patient's tumor. We should re-examine him immediately and consult his regular doctor. I agree with you, but I'm afraid I will have to wait until tomorrow. I'm supposed to have help with the next uh, symposium. What? So I'm meeting with some uh, doctors from St. Francis to learn from the road and everything. But. They travel a long way to meet me, so I can just blow them off. We'll handle this first thing tomorrow, I promise. Well, actually, that's not a good idea. We should have, we should actually go check with the patient. Come on. <sighs> that is not good. My microphone is fucking up again. Too bad I have to work tomorrow. I would have uh, liked to talk a bit longer. Well, there you go, so... Oh well, at least I'm ready for that symp symposium thing. And we're getting a call. Oh, my cell phone. Derek, where are you? The pa oh, it's Angie. The patient's in crit critical condition, you get back it right now. What? Well, okay, I did not see that coming. Whoa. Doctor, get me to Hope Hospital, step on it. Wow. <laughs> Is that so? Okay, we're back. Angie? A tumor uh, materialized behind his lungs, which then began swelling. He found it at the festival until 30 minutes ago when a tumor ruptured. The baron is in shock and suffering acute periodontism. I can't even. I don't even know half of these words you're saying right now. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even. I, I just don't even. The other doctors are operating on him as we speak. Follow me, Mr. Stiles. We need to see the consequence of your carelessness. Well, now I feel really bad. Uh, I wish I could have had something to do with that, but okay. Never mind. Okay, I'm sorry. Never mind. Sad music usually means something bad has happened. Did he die? Please don't tell me he died. I understand you do not have much information to base a decision on. And I do admit that the tumor was difficult to see from the x-ray. However, the laboratory left you several memos about the patient. I understand they pointed out extremely high readings. More than that, you dumped your response onto a nurse immediately following a very delicate operation. Uh, I wasn't, I mean... Dang. Miss Thompson, what are you? Please excuse me for interrupting, Dr. Hoofman. I know this is a little rude, but I have something to say. What is it? It's about the elegant attitude Mrs. Sides of it dis has displayed thus far. I warned him about the patient at least three times, but he did. But he said that there were important personal matters he had to take care of. Then he just walked out without another word. Mrs. Styles, 
Maybe you didn't harm the patient directly, but... How can, you, how can I work on a doctor who doesn't even try to act like one? It doesn't matter how small or ground or suspicion might be. Your parents are depending on you to take care of them. Why did you become a doctor? Do you even know? That voice cracker is... Uh, I don't even... I don't even... I, that is... I um, You don't deserve to be here. You're not a real doctor. Rude! You're not a real... You're not a real doctor! Hmm. I really screwed up. I ignored a patient. I was trying my best. I didn't think it was anything serious. But a patient almost died and it was all my fault. Blah blah blah. Being called Dr. Stott doesn't make me a good doctor. What was I thinking? I'm no doctor. What if I keep making mistakes like that? Uh oh. Looks like rain. Hurry up you two. You need to get all... Uh, all of our displays inside. Okay, who the fuck is talking right there? Oh. Rain, maybe that will help me calm down. I could make things any worse. worse. Sir, it looks like you're completely soaked. Did you come from a hospital? You may want to head back pretty soon. They don't want me there. I'm apparently useless as a doctor. Hey, yeah, it's me. You're never going to believe what I just saw. Well, you can guess if you want. Nope, it's even better. There was this crazy accident at Walnut between a truck and a SUV. It was nuts. The driver flew out, flew out on the street and... Huh? No, it really happened. An accident at Walnut? Who the fuck is talking? <laughs> is, is he listening to a conversation between like a grand dude or whatnot? Uh, they're going to be taking a trauma ward, but Dr. Cass is out of town. There aren't any emerging doctors on call. What the fuck? Life or death. So now I'm going in like... I'm back. Where did I go? Life or death. Right, okay. <laughs> My dad was calling me. Calling for me or something. Oh, dramatic music. This is awesome. What do you want? What is going on? What just happened? What is happening? I was right then. There's no more time to lose. No time to lose, rather. So... Where the accident victims, Angie? The styles. The patients. He was suffering cardiac arrest and, and I couldn't resurrect him. The other nurses are busy and we took the castle gun. I can't. What am I supposed to do? The rest are going to die, but I can't. I can't even... Holy crap. Okay, whatever. I pressed the wrong button. Uh, I think I could read what he said. He said like calm down and then she was like eh. So wait, the minus button is a skip button. Huh, good to know. <laughs> well, I just screwed up a little bit. Okay, what's the situation? The ambulance brought him here as soon as he could. His heart isn't beating. I tried reviving him but... Angie! What do I do? I need help. I... I... Angie! Shut up! Dr. Styles. The only person here who needs help is the patient. Jesus Christ, you are the one who's so fucking pissed about this all the time, goddammit. Uh, and we're the ones who are going to help him. It's up to us, the, uh, and only us, we're going to save this man. I can't do this without you, Andy. I want to save his life. Pretend this is a normal procedure. Calm down and think things through, goddammit. First, we need a pulse. We have to get a pulse. Understood. Let's begin the operation. Whoa. Okay. Okay. It's pretty weird to see her having a panic attack. I mean, got it. Oh, holy shit! He, he he doesn't have a pulse, so he's sort of like. Okay, we're gonna use a defib here. Okay. Um. What the fuck do I do? Keep an eye on displaying that electric charge. And because it not it reaches the area of the gauge. Closer to this reading you get, the more affected the shock will be. Now you need to know how to activate the defibrillator. Use it to move towards the prison. Press the B and C button simultaneously. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Okay. Clear! Oh, that was perfect. Right in the fucking middle. There's a pulse. We did it. While it's still below 30, it's not clear yet. So that sounds more like an energy I know. Dr. Stans, are we going to save him? Of course we are. What a stupid question. <laughs> are we going to save him? No, we're going to fucking murder him. What the hell do you think? 
Okay, let's see how far can we get with this. Okay, we can get up to 30. That's good. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> Those are really bad. <laughs> that wasn't even on the thing. Oh my god. Okay. We heal the wounds. Bleeding seems to stop with this fire so dropping fast. He suffered a lot of damage to his chest. What else could it be? Make an incision. Okay, let's do this. Boom. Boom. Okay, right. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, I need to hurry. Okay, don't take don't take this the wrong way. I don't think you have the skill to treat it like this. We need to recover his spell, so maybe we should wait for Dr. Castle's help. No. The longer we wait, the lower the chance of survival. I don't know what to do. Either way, I won't blame if this is your decision. My decision! And there we go. I understand. I'll trust you. Well, that's a first. Be careful around us. We're fighting against blood loss. Holy crap, I know. I'm trying to read what you say and then do this at the same time, so it's not easy. Alright, alright. Okay, 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 there we go. Is this his heart? He had glass in his heart. Okay, he's dead again. Nice. Okay, wait. Nah, that wasn't it. There we go. We have a pulse. What? Whoa, what the fuck? Holy shit! I got something like that in the lush in the Oh god, please restrain it, but be careful. What the hell? How the fuck did that just burst out of his fucking heart? God damn. Huh, I think it's gonna make it. What? This can't be happening. My god! What the fuck? Damn it, don't die on me. What the hell is happening? Oh. What just happened? He surged in a split second. And I think we're I think we're finished. Just close him up. What the fuck just happened? Good god. Okay, stuff just happens. Back and forth. I don't, I don't even keep track of what's going on anymore. I can feel him slipping away. I was so scared, Doctor. I froze and I could just think about was running away. But you didn't worry at all. You stood your ground and did what I had to be done. You're a real doctor. Well done, Dr. Thank Spies. you, Dr. Shaz. Oh, a smile. That's a first. Wow. Was that so fucking difficult? Okay, I guess we won her over to our side now. <laughs> okay. Vital bonus. Time bonus. Because there are no mistakes. No mistakes. Nice. Master Surgeon. Dang. I never felt that way before. I think I'm starting to understand. His condition is established for now. Let's keep an eye on him. Yes, Doctor. We need to contact the others, Doctor Sand. Uh, I'm way ahead of you. Most of us uh, due to staff have agreed to come in. I also called Doctor Castle. Good work. Thank you. You could get some rest. We were searching for a long time. For a long time, it was like three minutes. Uh, yeah, it's okay with you. I think I'll do that. Angie. Yes? Everything you said this morning was true. But I'm going to stay here as a, as a doctor. I'm going to try hard and become a better surgeon to make you proud. If that's the case, stop coming into work late and don't leave without doing your paperwork. I'll do my best. Okay, mom. There's one other thing, huh? Please try to be more presentable. You shouldn't have to worry about being embarrassed to work with you. I'll be more careful. <laughs> okay, I'll take a nap. I'll wake me up if anything happens. I understand. Have a good rest. To the styles. Yeah. Wow. Wow, okay. Whoa, we're, go we're going to a new chapter. Are we? Huh? What's going on now? From over... S Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, hey, what happened? Whoa, whoa, what is this? What, what, what? What's going on? Okay, this seems to be chapter 2. And this seems to be... I have no idea. Z? Z? Okay. So in the next one we're going to... Uh, do this, I suppose. Um, then we're going to do this. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give a like. If you really enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to my channel. and help out so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Good. Bye. I said that really fast. If you didn't catch, catch.
just good, goodbye goodbye